Good morning again, 2020. Pleasingly, Jacqueline found the correct lead for the caravan, 12 volt external power supply to plug into our Wi-Fi. However, unpleasingly, when I plugged it in smugly this morning, nothing happened. So now, I have to go exploring into the caravan, take the plug out and work out why there's no juice in this plug. I've just made the joyful discovery that my repair in Avignon to the front of the caravan has let go. This threaded rod here, which you may or may not be able to see, needs to go up into the front locker onto a bonded tie-on point. But it's let go, so I'm going to have to work out over New Year where all the shops are shut and how to fix that. So that's a nice little challenge for today. The strap that I put on in Avignon in France, but the threaded rod has pulled through the bottom of the aluminum strap. So I think the repair is to get a piece of right angle steel, screw it onto the heavier aluminium because the skin wasn't strong enough, and uh, then drill and do that. So I do have a drill with me, and I do have screws with me, because I have my toolbox with me. Yay for me. Look what I found in the front locker. I've even got some steel bar and some brand new threaded rod left over from the job in France. So who's a clever boy then? I can have a happy day fixing, fixing stuff. So the camp manager or custodian reluctantly let me use his workshop and I was able to put this 90 degree kind of bend in the end of my bar and drill the hole for the threaded rod. Um, in the world's worst vice, but it was a lot better than no vice, so it lets me carry on. I'm going to probably screw it onto the remaining aluminium bar in the caravan. It should work if I get a good length. I'll put screws every 50mm along the bit of bar I need and then hacksaw it off. I did look at my angle grinder and cutoff wheel before I left as a um, as an option, but thought, well, don't be silly, I won't need it on this trip. So I've got this tiny little vice, craftsman vice that Jenny gave me years ago, and um, yeah, clamped to my clamped to my ladder. Good bike ride, Doodle. That bell also came off Jenny's bicycle in England. I'm taking this video now because the job is going unbelievably smoothly. I have my stainless screws. I've dot punched the uh, bar that I'm going to put in. I have a drill, I have bits, and I thought this is actually not going to take very long, at which point I realised that something brilliant is going to happen for my video log, so stand by. Holes are all now drilled and I've put the screws in once. Actually, you can see one that I snapped off there, but the rest all went well of that big screw after I went up one bit size. And now I've got my bonding agent, which is bought in Germany. When we were in Germany, Enfest, 90 minute glue by the look of it. Yoohoo, which will be good. And I always mix it on the bottom of tomato soup cans and things, because it's a nice, clean surface. So onward and upward. Can't believe how well this is going. So it's all gone ridiculously well so far. I am waiting for that blog-worthy moment when I realize that I've put the threaded rod behind the wheel or something and um, it's not going to reach or something like that. But, you know, wait in anticipation. I'm sure that moment is coming. Then castle competition. We've already been passed by a child in tears. Oh, mine's falling apart. The sand's not sticking. So let's go and, and see. And he's only got 15 minutes left in. That's right, this is the sandcastle competition in full swing doodle. Where's ours and Audrey? They've got a life size boat. Oh, here's Audrey and ours as one. Excellent. Man's organised, he's bought a uh, masonry trowel. What is it? Is it a serpent row or is it a monster? I don't know. Happy New Year! Oh. Here we have some beached dolphins. Beach. Here's the turtle. More beached marine life. And here we have a giant, maybe pregnant black mermaid. He's pretty swelled out. He's got a massive tail. 
mum and dad here on the full So this could be the moment, winding the threaded rod through with my driver on my drill. It has found the hole and gone through, but it's quite damaged the thread. So this could be that glorious vlog blog moment whereby it all goes pear shaped. Stand by. So disappointingly, dear bloggers, the job has gone like a tra charm. It's all done. been for a swim and the water is cold. Um, well, Audrey and I have been for a swim. Here comes Iris. She went back for her hat. And Audrey is, I think she's back in the water. Here she comes. Here comes Audrey. <laughs> here go Audrey and Fife uh, in. And here goes Ro. And here comes Audrey and Fife coming out. <laughs> what do you think, Fife? What do you think, Fife? Here's. What are you going to do, Audrey? You going to jump off the bridge? I wasn't sure she would even do it. She took me completely by surprise when she just climbed over the rail and jumped. Aircraft coming and going from the Raglan airstrip. Burying your brother. So, time honored beach pastime. In this case, it's Audrey burying Roman. Or Audrey and Fife burying Roman. Or maybe Audrey and Fife and the Iris burying Roman. Roman breaking free. Here he comes. Born of this earth, Roman rises to rule the world. Roman tries to rise to rule the world. No, Dad! Put it back! I want to try myself. Born of this earth, Roman rises. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Uh, birth of a people. Here he comes. Oh, yay! Aircraft landing at Raglan Airstrip. Peak cricket going on, of course. Essential for Kiwi, for Kiwis. As is digging holes. Raglan Surf Beach. In the evening, we've had dinner. Oh! Wow, cold! <laughs> Five yelling obscenities. <laughs> or was he yelling his own pet name? <laughs> surf beach. And with surfers. Not many now, because there's only one break. Coming out. Here we are. Stop, guys. Audrey. What? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> 